In this video, I'll be walking you through how to optimize and design all of your Shogun pages for mobile viewing. Let's get started. So optimizing all of your web pages for mobile is extremely important. In 2021, mobile is expected to account for 54% of all e-commerce purchases. More than ever, consumers browsing content and purchasing products are doing so using mobile formats. In planning for the future, optimizing for mobile is just as important as optimizing for desktop. Now in Shogun, there are three primary views to optimize, mobile, tablet, and desktop with widescreen as an offshoot of the desktop view. There are a couple ways to optimize content for mobile viewing. The first utilizes columns from Shogun's Element Builder. And to show how this works, I'll be starting with a blank page. So to start, if you're following along, head over to the Element Builder on the right side to drag and drop a column element into your blank page. And notice how there are two columns that are automatically generated here. To effectively center content, we'll need to increase the column number to three. To do this, click on the column, and over on the right-hand side, you'll see an indicator that will let you increase the number of columns to three. This leaves me with a center column that I can use to place something like a title, a subtitle below, and then a button below that, just as an example. Because I've placed each of these elements in the center column, they resize proportionally as I change views into something like tablet or mobile. Now, the second mobile optimization method comes from utilizing Shogun's margin feature. So to show an example of how this works, I'll be using a product page template that I've already drafted. So we're playing around with margin here, and margin helps increase or decrease the amount of space between the different elements on a page that you create. Clicking into any element, scrolling over to the right side, selecting styles, and then scrolling down will allow you to locate the margin metric for any element. To optimize for mobile, you want to utilize the percentage margin as opposed to the pixel margin, represented as PX. Let's say, for example, I wanted to optimize my product page draft for mobile. As you can see, selecting the product box and inputting a margin of 250 pixels from the right and the left makes the content a bit more centered and leaves a bit more room off to the sides. Switching over to a tablet view and a mobile view, however, you can see that a lot of things really don't look too great with this. And that's why utilizing a percentage margin is so important. So let's take the same setup with my product page and change the margin to 10% as opposed to 250 pixels. The view looks about the same on desktop, but once I switch over to a tablet view or the mobile view, you can see how using a percentage margin really helps the content adapt much better automatically. And without using the percentage margin, you'd have to manually adjust margin for each view. Percentage simply allows you to speed up the mobile optimization process. The last mobile optimization method to keep in mind comes from understanding the difference between images and background images. So when you're using background images on your page, if you go down in screen size, if you go from something like desktop to mobile, your image might be cropped since the screen size is being reduced. Now this is occurring because background images act as wallpaper. They cover the entire area of their section. And the amount of the background image that's visible is determined by the height of the content section and the width of the screen. If, on the other hand, you'd like a full image to be shown, no matter the screen size, consider using the image element instead. This element ensures that your entire image is viewable from the visitor. The image will also scale down proportionally based on the width of the screen. So to summarize, there are three basic methods to keep in mind when optimizing for mobile. Number one, implementing the column element, making sure that there is a center column to place other elements into. Number two, utilizing percentage margin to help content elements scale properly. And three, selecting the right image, whether it be a background image or an image element to correctly display photos on your site. And again, always remember that you're able to switch views up towards the top of the screen if you wanna see what something looks like on mobile or tablet or desktop. That's all for mobile optimization for now. I definitely would recommend playing around with the different elements having to do with mobile optimization, whether it be margin percentages or whether it be image, background image optimization as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.